So as a starting point, I think it's a good idea to just look at a read that has been tied already and discuss really what are we looking for? Mm -hmm. What is a perfectly tied oboe read? So this is this is a read that is not open yet, it doesn't play. You could actually not say that it's not even a read yet because it doesn't <laughs> make noise, but it's just been tied. And there are a few things about a tied read which are non-negotiable, so they right. have to be correct. Um, first and foremost, I would say that we're looking for symmetry in all ways. Um, the reed has to be straight. In other words, the cane needs to come straight off the staple, not off like this, and also not down like that or up like that. So we're really looking for the cane to come straight off the staple. The flat part of the cane should correspond to the big part of the oval of the mm -hmm. staple. And extremely important is that the top string of the reed is exactly at the top of the staple. So that requires that you know how long your staple is. And some of them are 46 millimeters, some are 47. 47 is typical, I, a standard, I yes, guess. Yes, mostly. Um, so in other words, when you tie your oboe reed, this top string, from the top string to the bottom of the staple, is going to need to measure the very same as the staple all by itself. Mm -hmm. Very, very important. If you under tie it, in other words, if, if the string is too low, you're going to get leaks and probably loose sides. And if it's over tied, you're going to inhibit the vibration of the cane Absolutely, itself. Right. So it really needs that balance is, is terribly important. Mm -hmm. The other thing that we'll talk about is the offsetting of the blades. You may hear this referred to as the overlap. That's the common term for what I call a slight slipping or offsetting of the two blades. So mm -hmm. you've got these two blades and we're going to slightly offset them to create a lock and key kind of effect from blade to blade once it's a playing reed. It's important that that offset is the same on both sides of the reed, as well as that it's the same from the string to the end of the reed. Very, and, very important. And to achieve that, we really recommend wrapping right-handed, even if you are left-handed. Exactly. Um, it will create consistency from, from reed to reed, um, and it does enable you to get this, this sort of lock and key effect so that the blades, once you cut the reed open, you have a playing reed, those blades stay in place and don't start uh, swimming around while you're playing. That's a, a setup for disaster, for sure. So, perfectly tied blank, absolutely critical.